My friend, are you ready for this? It's another week, and it's also another 2024 Toyota Tacoma teaser. That's right. So Toyota has been dribbling out <laughs> pictures of the new Tacoma now for several weeks, just like they did with the Tundra. I yeah. wish they would just show the full truck already, but let's talk about the latest dribble. Yeah, so, uh, so it's about shocks and wheels and brakes and tires. Mm. Uh, but before, I, I wanted to show you what's been happening. So. On March 24th, they showed the dark silhouette. <laughs> on March 29th, it was a current gen Tacoma that teased the date. And on April 4th, there was a face. <laughs> and then there was a bumper. And then now we have more. So you can see it on tfltruck.com. You can see the full progression uh, of the dribbles. Yes, but here there's something interesting, right? So yeah. we have a shot of the rear section. So this is the bed line. Mm -hmm. So let me let me get the Im uh, the image closer to you. And this is from the Toyota USA Insta. Insta. So they they did it on Instagram. And it's showing kind of the rear wheel. And this is interesting. So red TRD badge. Okay. So that means a few things. So it's either a TRD off-road or a TRD Pro. Could right. be a pro. Yeah, it could be a pro, yes. but the bigger news is behind the red badge, Andre. Yes. Is that a disc brake? I <laughs> think it's a disc brake. You can see the caliper. You can see um, the rotor. It's about time. So, of course, this is one of the things that the Toyota folks like to go on and on and on about is how they don't need drum brakes in the back of the Tacoma. Um, and we've heard so many reasons why, everything yeah. from longevity to water fording to cost, um, but now we see a disc brake in the new Tacoma. Yeah, actually when they launched the current Tacoma, uh, mm -hmm. I was actually there with Nathan, right? It was a big event in Tacoma, Washington. Right, funny, very <laughs> yes. clever. Yes, so, um, and they said that towing was not a priority for the Tacoma, which is kind of true. A lot of people don't max out their Tacomas, although I've seen it. Yep. Um, so for the engineering team, Towing was not priority, and they said, hey, we don't need disc brakes as much, and they're, uh, they said they're better for off-roading because rocks don't get to get stuck inside of them. And then I also heard a Toyota person once say they're better for water fording, okay. um, but the end result is every manufacturer has almost completely moved away from disc brakes, yes. even on the off-roaders, Bronco, Wrangler, right, they're all all discs in the in the rear, so they all moved away from drums yeah, to yeah, discs. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. And uh, it gives you better performance overall. All yeah. right, and look at their messaging. Off-road ability meets on-road performance. <laughs> uh, the all-new 2024 Tacoma is coming soon. So, so this will be good for all of us. Well, towing trailers, yeah. just everyday driving, and. Just goodness. And if you think about it, there's only really three or four vehicles left on the market that still offer drum brakes. The base model Nissan Kicks, <laughs> the Volkswagen ID4, and the Toyota Tacoma. Wait, ID4 has drums? Yes, the Volkswagen ID4, because it has so much regen, Volkswagen says they didn't need discs <laughs> on the rear. Uh, but kind of a fun thing. So it's good to see Toyota with the game. We also see a tire here. Um, now it's that's a little hard to tell. Sidewall is pretty aggressive, so clearly some kind of off-road tire. Yes. Um, kind of similar to a KO2, but I'm not sure that it's a KO2. Do you see that W there? Is that a W? So maybe it's it, a version of the Wild Peak or the Wrangler? Oh, it could be a Wild Peak. I think I see the K yes. at the end. So it looks like it's maybe a Falcon Wild Peak. Yeah, then that's okay. And then Toyota has been using different tires, mm -hmm. and of course they rate each tire per vehicle, right? So if you're looking about a 4Runner or a Tacoma or a Tundra, they sometimes have different tires, but it's for each different use case. And this is great because on the current um, TRD products, you often see that Wrangler Duratrac, which has the Kevlar sidewall, which is a yes. good tire, but not a lot of forward bite off road. Right. I like the Wild Peaks a lot, so hopefully we see that uh, make its way into the new Tacoma. Ooh. So I just um, revealed it. Dropping bombshell. So they also dropped this picture on Yes. Me. So we can see that it's Looks to be a front end. Yeah, because we have a half shaft Yep, here. and you can see the control arm there. And then a Fox TRD Pro. Do you see the Pro? Uh-huh. TRD Pro shock yes. absorber. Uh, QS3. And also, I've noticed this. There is a tuning knob on this shock. Oh, interesting. This is quite interesting. Now, of course, uh, Fox has worked with Toyota in the past. They yeah. currently work with Toyota. For several years, actually. And I also was talking to some of their engineers on recent uh, TRD Pro launch events, etc. And they actually, people think that, you know, they did this five years ago or four years ago. They introduced Fox and they just left it alone. No, every year they do some tuning changes. It's actually pretty remarkable how many tuning changes they do. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Um, now, of course, Fox also works with other OEMs. Oh, and yes. if you look at, like, some of the adjustability, right? So... 
the four trucks, the Raptor, has live valve technology um, where they can adjust the tuning electronically on the fly. It looks like this might not be a live valve technology no. shock, but rather manual tuning. Yeah, because we don't see any wire going to this, right? Mm -hmm. On a live valve shock, you could see actually kind of a wire would be going to this valve and adjusting it. But, but this is still okay. I mean, for example, let's say you're in an off-road situation and you want slightly softer setting. You could reach down and tune those knobs, but then if you're on the highway and you're towing something heavier, you want them stiffer, right? Right. So you can choose, you know, which one you want. So we also have a look here at the steering components. Uh, we also see the upper control arm there with the ball joint. So clearly they're sticking with an independent front suspension on this new Tacoma. That's not surprising. And then you can also see the red coil there. Yeah. So a couple things we learned. There's going to be a TRD Pro model. Yeah. Um, it's going to have the Fox technology but probably it's going to be a manual adjustment, which is still pretty cool. Or you could leave it and forget it. Which because, I think... Uh, yeah, most people will probably kind of leave it. Ooh, did you see that, though? NG on the tire. So this might be a Wrangler. Ah, So are Wrangler. we looking at... Yeah, so like a... So Wrangler territory or Wrangler, you know, territory tires come in all-terrain and mud terrain or maximum traction. Yeah, so we don't know if it's a wild, because the previous picture looked like a wild peak, but this picture I think is a Wrangler. So I wonder what tire they're going with. You know, it's really popular, the Wrangler territory tires are across the board. Maybe the Bronco uses it, it, the TRX uses the same pattern. It's a pretty aggressive tire though. Toyota typically doesn't go that aggressive. So it would affect efficiency, right? So, um, but I, it, actually I'm happy because there's other models of the Tacoma, mm -hmm. right? If you want mo maximum traction, maybe you'll go with the Pro. If you want something else, go with another model, maybe a SR5 or a TRD off-road or maybe some other version. Yeah, interesting. Uh, we can also, if you want to go back to one more picture, Andre, go back to the first one. We also see a look here at the bedside. So it's got a very squared off wheel arch, yeah. right, um, with the black flare on top of it. I'm wondering if maybe the TRD Pro is going to be a little wider than the standard truck? It's possible. Um, they did the similar, similar thing with the Tundra, mm -hmm. right? So I don't know if I can pull that up right now. Let me, let me try. I wanted to also show that they're also introducing the Trail Hunter right. badge that they haven't had before. And this was last week's uh, teaser. Yep, so you can see the Trail Hunter badge. And we think that the Trail Hunter, uh, based on this image that they release, is going to have ARB components because this one has ARB components. So yeah. rear bumper, the tow hooks has ARB yeah. on it. Yeah, and this may also have an aggressive tire, right? It makes sense sure. for this Overland version of the truck to have aggressive tires. And they unveiled this light. You can kind of see the uh, tire there. Yeah, which looks fairly aggressive right there. So. I, I, I wanted to bring up one point, also competition, mm -hmm. right? Because I was recently on the ZR2 Colorado event. Right. And General Motors teased us with this. They teased us with a Colorado ZR2 Bison edition. Mm. They didn't even say what it was, <laughs> but it rolled out on basically 35s, wide stands, long travel suspension. Wow skid plates from AV rock rails and rock rails yeah so this is the new competition for Toyota yes yeah, so Toyota is really gonna have to step up their game with the pro models maybe the trail hunter models we also have heard rumors that the Raptor and the Ranger is coming in the new generation yeah. to the US so it's it's really heating up in the off-road world and it's an exciting place to be but you're gonna want to stay tuned to tfltruck.com for all the new updates and of course hopefully we'll see the full reveal of the Tacoma soon and they don't have a date they said soon oh. Come on, Come on, Toyota. Okay, maybe next week they'll tell us. <laughs> maybe next week. Well, right. guys, thank you for this quick update. This has been Tali. And Andre. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you, guys.